we've been running into things that go up to about 150 in here. Look, 280. Yeah, so these guys are no joke, especially when they start getting around you in um, groups. Then they can really mess up your dude. All right, all right, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended with Darby Topknot here on the Ark and Art server. I hope you guys are doing well today. How's it going? So today, you notice we have the Wrecking Crew with us. That can only mean one thing. We need artifacts. So we're going to have to hop into some caves, grab some artifacts to get ready for the Broodmother. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, so here we are outside our first target. This is uh, what we used to call the Chitin Cave. Um, it is in the middle of the map here. So you can see pretty easily where we are. We are at 40, 46. And so with that, I think that we will go ahead, hop in here, see what happens. Let's do this. So going into these caves i have been in here this is where i got my dung beetle i think yeah this is um going into these caves one of the things about the baryonyx is uh we used to do the caves on ase just with our wolves we had some super wolves and let's go ahead and go this way i don't think it actually matters which way you go i think it just joins back up over here but um with the baryonyx you can't run through the caves right because they will jump on you and here i hear a bunch of spiders there is a drop right there but we got that the last time and we're just gonna try to pound these dudes and um yeah we'll just try to stay away from the arthros look at that thing that is an amazing looking arthropolar uh, let's see there's going to be a lot of fighting in these things because I don't believe anybody's been in these for quite a long time. And looks like we do have rabies already. So we'll get that out of the way. And come on, get him. <laughs> Why are you... Why is this taking so long? I guess that was a lot of guys. Oh, and there's even another one. Oh, and a drop. Sweet. Okay, so... Um, Let's see. Yeah, I did bring uh, some health potions and I brought um, also a handful of antidote. There we go, I think that was it. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, see how that guy jumped even when I wasn't running. So you have to be careful in places where you can get hurt. And best way to take care of Arthros is to attack from behind. So spinning and getting behind them. If you want a good place to practice that, Scorched Earth. So when that map comes out, uh, you'll meet these Arthropora out in the desert as long as it's the same as it used to be. Let's see what we've got. Okay. That's good. Nobody cares. And we will drop those two. Okay, so we have healed up a little bit and we are moving our way back through here. So we're going to go this way and see what we have up ahead. It looks like there's an Arthro and another drop. And some place that we can go to get really messed up. So I believe there is a way out of there, though, if it's like it was in ASE. And let's go ahead and try to move to the side of this guy. You have to watch out a little bit for the Onik in caves because... Because, well, I mean, they'll make you sick, but also they have a bit of knockback. So uh, if you're, like, especially in the lava cave and stuff like that, if you are chilling out there, and I'm going to jump off and grab this now. Not bad. Oh, we probably should have kept those. Yeah, another thing that you can bring are stimulants. And, well, we just made these guys mad. So, we always try not to hit the dung beetles. Because they're not aggressive. But, um, yeah. Sometimes you can't avoid it. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. 
And they're actually kind of tough. So if this is like the other, there's the artifact. So it's a very short trip into here for that. And let's go ahead and, oh, Megalosaurus, here we go. So that was not a big deal. It is daytime, so I think they're weaker, but also the one we fought before was a 140 and that was just a level 20. So let's go ahead and see if we can get these last guys. And I do want to come in and see that jump. That's the stuff that'll kill you. I do want to come in and tame a spider at some point. There we go, cool. The one thing I didn't bring was an otter, which you would expect much better. Oh, I should have come over here first. I don't know Speaking of spiders, um, you would expect better from me because we have so many otters, but I forgot. So we're just going to be able to grab one of these and uh, we'll have to come back maybe with some friends at some point to get that. And so here we go. Artifact of the clever. I don't feel clever, but there we go. That is, <laughs> that is another artifact in the bag for us. Good job, everybody. Let's go check out the rest of the cave. All right, people. So we have made it over to the swamp cave and this ought to be interesting. It's a very difficult cave. It wasn't very easy to find. It's not in the same place as ASE. So it's at 64.8, 35.1. That's where we are right now. And you'll notice that Darby is not wearing armor. There's a reason for that. So if we go ahead and go in here, we are going to have to wear a gas mask and the gas mask, if you are wearing any type of armor and you get hit by an Arthroplura, especially one of the ones in here, and we're gonna just go on in and I'll have to put the mask on now, uh, but any of the ones in here, they will one shot your armor. And so if you then have the gas mask on with armor, it will get rid of your gas mask. <laughs> so along with the armor, but if you are wearing the gas mask without armor, then you'll be fine. And we're gonna try to do most of this in third person mode. So uh, apparently this is a good place to get a lot of fiber as well. I mean, look at the plants, man. This place is absolutely beautiful and I can't see all that well. The creatures in here are really, really high level. And so it's, um, a bit more dangerous than the others we've been in so far. I'm going to take this slowly and you can see here they're coming. I think what we're going to do is try to get them to come out after us and handle them out as far as we can rather than running in and getting ourselves wrecked in there. Oh, here we go. And yeah, so if you notice, we've been running into things that go up to about 150 in here. Look, 280. Yeah, so these guys are no joke, especially when they start getting around you in um, groups. Then they can really mess up your dude. So if you have a Baryonyx, it's probably the best thing to bring in here, uh, except for maybe a <laughs> maybe a um, frog. But um, be careful. Watch, just watch yourself and look at all this. See these dudes? We're just, these guys are actually flying out of the walls at us. So just be careful when you think nothing is there and that it's safe, it's not gonna be. So let's go ahead and see if we can just get on out of here. What have we got? Everything. And we will try to get around the side here. I have to watch myself to make sure I'm not being damaged. I do have stuff to help with that. And let's get rid of those dudes. It's so difficult to see in here. Let's go right. And we're going to crawl our way through here. And I believe we will try to draw these guys in here so that we don't get jumped by 4,000 things. We're only gonna be jumped by 1,000 things at a time. Yeah, you see all these guys coming in? 
and once again you just watch for the poison effect, watch your own health, and let's see if we can just get rid of these guys. Did Gita just get a level? Sweet. Let's go ahead and level up uh, melee. Let's go this way. And once again, oh, nope, don't do it. There, let's get this guy from the side. See, if you can stay behind these dudes, they can't shoot you with their stuff. And... Like I said, these dudes are really high level in here. You'll see some of those levels that we're dealing with right now. And you want to try to keep the leeches dead. See all those leeches? One of the cool things is that um, you can gather these up and make... Whoops, one. You can make the um, antidotes with them. Let's just open these dudes up. Whoop, there's a mega Megalania. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna get these guys again. Let's go ahead and... Wow, look at all those guys. You can see what makes this so dangerous. And we're actually poisoned by two different types of things. I think they actually did fix that crash with the inventory. Uh, they introduced some other crashes. And by the way, outside, I don't know what they did to the um, look of the thing, but uh, okay. Let's hit these guys. You see we're on, look, 250. Yeah, so these are no joke. Um, I don't know what they did in the last one with the look of some of the models and the the light, the lighting looks really weird. It's very grainy. Um, it doesn't look good at all. And what have we got out there? Let's go ahead and just try to drag some dudes in. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And there, the Titan Manirna. And they changed <laughs> the model for the Savo route which I was using for decorative plant. Okay, is that a snake? Hopefully that's a snake. Yeah, there's a snake and here's another snake. Okay, great. And so they made them less bulky, which great, you know, do what you wanna do, but that just doesn't really work for the, um, the setup that I'm using it for. Okay, we're gonna head on over this way. And Gita is still doing pretty well. I think she has like 13,000. Oh, there is a yellow drop there. So we just have to watch for the Megalania and the Arthros. Whoa, what was that? Uh, <laughs> that was strange, because I didn't hear him first. There we go. All right. So let's get these guys. And uh, I think we've been spared the worst of the hearth bros. We haven't really encountered very many of them so far. And so we're gonna go through here. We need to get the leeches. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, see all these leeches? We just need to make sure that we bite them and don't get them on our dude. Yeah, see that? There's one there. Usually by the time you see them, it's too late. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of like a Microraptor attack. By the time you see that dude, it's just too late. Okay, come on. Okay. Now I'm gonna jump off and grab this. I think we're okay to do it. 
and we will just take seriously. Look at this. Oh, that's so good. All right. <laughs> now, now is when you're wishing for the save game button. Um. Okay. That's good. There's another explorer note. Titanosaur. So it looks like there are three in here. Let's see. We've got anything in here. Can we make it all the way through? I don't think so. So I'm going to run in there. I believe that's where the artifact is. Okay, let's do this. I hear something. There it is. Okay, so here we go with that. And this will be our second artifact. Sweet. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, do not want to suffocate in this cave. Hopefully our guy is still doing okay. All right, Gita. So... There we go. And now this has spawned in and it's another red. So where where is that sound coming from? Something shooting at me. Oh. Hello. Let's just make sure that Come on. There we go. Level 275. So don't take these guys lightly, man. Come in here prepared. Where is that sound coming from? Oh, they're going to be respawning too. So we better do this quickly. And, oh, that looks pretty amazing. We've got to get back. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and we're just going to beat feet out of here. And hopefully... Um, let's see, I think it's this way. Hopefully it is not full of respawned creatures and we can make our way out of the cave easily. That is that, and it is all about getting home. Once again, Gita, you are a champ. You did an amazing job. Love, you are fantastic. Thank you for the emotional support. <laughs> and uh, let's get out of the Redwoods. Okay, guys, last cave for the day. And yes, it is the lava cave. I know it's probably not a great idea. I don't even know if Baryonyx can go all the way through this anymore. We used to just run through on our dire wolves, but I do not have one. If worst comes to worst and we can't bring Gita back out, then I can cryopotter. I do have some bug spray and we can go from there. You'll see that I do have blue with us, which I'm loath to do, but I don't want to go back in here after this run, so we want to get as many artifacts as possible. And I, I have a general idea of where this is, but let's go ahead and give it a try. This one we will not be running in at all. We will take it at a snail's pace, at least once we get past this part here, which this is the safe part 
and you see that hop that is why so let's just make sure that we're all geared up here uh, everything is loaded actually this one I want to make sure that we load I did bring grapples just in case and let's see uh, we have this if we start getting bad we'll use the Kalian soup we have some extra food we have we're definitely gonna need antidotes we do have some of these and we have better armor and everything you know what it's actually about the same the armor um, our stuff we're wearing is pretty good so let's go ahead and do this and so the big thing in here is going to be the there we go oh I killed a Dilo there we go it's going to be the mega rabies that's the big big thing to watch out for here they're not nearly as high level as they are in the swamp cave however the lava is just a constant danger and this is not that much stuff here kind of surprising it man if it's like this then that would be amazing try to get past this little ledge here and then down here um, this just splits and is a roundabout I believe okay and you can see the nice glow of lava so yet another way to die and here is a jump oh man I don't know okay we can't I mean, if we miss this jump, we're straight into the lava. Okay. This is kind of where I wish I had a different guy, because I'm not used to how far the Baryonyx jumps. And let's go ahead. We'll go down this way and see what we've got here. Okay, looks like some more spiders. And a Dilo. And it looks like there's a jump there, so I don't think we'll take that. Butterman and I used to just run through this place with our dire wolves. And like it was nothing. And I was talking to him about it the other day, and he said, yeah, but you know what? We were way better at Ark then. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't disagree with him. I believe there are a number of drops in here to the Explorer notes. So let's go ahead and... S oh, there's a scorpion. And we're going to just walk up here calmly. <laughs> Everybody calm down. And I think we want to go that way. But this looks like there may be a drop of some type over here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see. Yeah, there we go. So here's the first one. Admit there are times when and it's Rockwell. Yeah, here we go. Didn't even have to start it off myself. And it looks like we're getting... There's Mega Rabies again. So there's another potion. These um, antidotes, they protect you for, I believe, like 180 seconds. So, you know, it's... You don't have to worry about being bitten again right away, which is a good game design decision. Okay. More dialogues. Look at all these dudes. Can you believe that? Holy cow. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, 
Yeah, more and more guys. Come on, get him. He is doing really well. I mean, I don't have any any worries about Gita's ability to body these guys. My only problem is, am I going to fall in lava? And can I get Gita back out? Oh, there's the artifact. Okay, sweet. Nice. Um, let's see, what are we going to do? I think we're going to try to drag as much as we can over here. Yeah, I'm not going to make those jumps. This is where grappling... Can, well, see you later, dude. That's exactly why I'm not making those jumps, is what just happened to that guy. So I'm going to try and encourage these dudes to come over. The land crawlers will go into the lava. Hello. Where are you? There we go. And, oh, he made it through. Or that's another one that was just around the corner. Let's see if anything is spawned over there. Looks like two shots to make. Can I make that in one? Oh. Always look behind yourselves, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go over here just for a minute to clear this out. Here's another explorer note. Let's back onto this. Megaloceros. Maybe I should put you on passive. I think that's a better idea. Let's see. What have we got over here? Let's go ahead and get this out. So it looks like we have this little place. If you've watched our other series, you guys will know that this is not my forte. Oh, okay. So we have to protect blue. Yeah, okay. Let's let's try to hurry this up a bit. Um, let's bring him. So it looks like there's something over there. And we will shoot these guys while they're in there. Did you hear something? Creepy. Anything over there? Anything over here? Oh, there's a Dilo. Take him out. There we go. Oh. Holy cow, the whole herd. gotta be kidding me love <laughs> be careful <laughs> guess we just have to grapple over to there so let's go ahead and do so hope we don't get attacked and I will just go to there we'll drop in make sure we're okay yeah there are more dudes over there and is that a is there a drop over there or something? Um, let's go ahead and get this. We will take that and then I want to drop it onto our shoulder pet. We're gonna go up there. Okay, there is. Uh, Okay. 
Oh man, Butterman would be losing his mind right now. Pull me over. Okay. Good so far. <laughs> I only have five left. Was it worth it? Ascendant Pteranodon Saddle. Nope. Uh, Terrorbird Saddle. Uh, I know somebody who might need that. And we'll take those two. There we go. And that is back. And that's got to be enough for us. I will take this. And we're going to get out of here, guys. Can I make it all the way back? Come on. Yeah. All right. So, um, let's get our sword back out. Hi, Gita. Uh, hope you didn't miss us too much. This is where we were before. Oh. Yellow drop. Do we dare? What do you think, guys? Oh. Uh -oh. can probably um no it can't be worth it no we're not gonna do it well okay I'll tell you what let's go we're gonna take a closer look because I think we have a few more I mean if we get up to the other place I don't care what's what's um, spawning in. It, it literally doesn't matter because Gita's tough enough to take just about anything, I think. Oh, wait, look. I mean, I can hop, hop, but look at that right there. Can How many do I have? I have, I have two grapples, so one across and one here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be able to grapple back. That's no problem. And is this what I thought it was? Oh, there we go. Sweet. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys. Dire Bear Saddle. Nice. Caprosuchus. And you guys are seeing what I see, right? Ascendant Long Neck Rifle. 428.6. Okay. Definitely worth it. Um, that's... Oh, man. Did you guys feel that lag? So, we are out of grapples. No, we have one more. No, we have zero. Okay. So, we've got to get out of here. Um, we'll do a little three-point turn. And walk up here, see how this goes. Hopefully Gita can just walk out of here. I mean, if not, we're going to have to make a run for it. I will use the bug spray to make it easier for us. The light of day. It's amazing. Check it out, guys. We got two artifacts. Nice. You guys are so, so good. Blue, you did a fantastic job too. Okay, everybody, let's go home. All right, everybody. So three caves in one session. Not bad, not bad at all. And these are three that we had not gotten the artifact from. So well done, Gita. Very, very, very happy. Well done, love, as always your very encouraging presence and well done blue going into the scariest cave imaginable and just tanking the whole thing so we have here three new artifacts that we'll go and we'll put up and um yeah it's going to be an interesting thing we need to get one more artifact i believe to be able to do the broodmother and then we've got a very very special episode for you um real quick as i promised before let's go ahead and take a look some of the things we got, uh, Ascendant Assault Rifle Blueprint, 262. Um, Dire Bear Saddle, very cool. Um, some good pants and all of that. 
this hyenodon meat pack ascended. We're going to go get some hyenodon. Ichthyos Ichthyosaurus, Caprosuchus, that's pretty cool. Uh, Parasur platform saddle, Pteranodon saddle. Oh, Rhinionatha saddle. Armor 108. Okay, we're going to have to do an episode soon with that. And then Ascendant Terrorbird saddle. All those are blueprints. Amazing. The other things we got, this Ascendant Pump Action Shotgun with a damage of 243. And the durability is over 2,000. Amazing. And then the Ascendant Long Neck Rifle. And that is damage 428.6 and a relatively good durability as well. So, so happy with that. Um, it just, things are getting better and better. So, thank you guys so much for taking the time to be here with us today. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And this is Darby Topknot from the Arcanart server saying, please remember to like, subscribe, share, all that youtube -y stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.